Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to May, um, May, May Messages. Um, I'm gonna put a stamp down below when the actual video starts because I wanna go through a couple of things that, um, that I feel are important. First and foremost, I am using a brand new deck of cards that was gifted to me by a wonderful uh, lady named um, Mindy Summers. And these are the cards that I will be using as part of, um, as part of the messages. Um, as you see, when I as you see me going through them, um, you can check other the other readings. Uh, they're very beautiful cards. Um, they have they're very um, I want to say nature oriented, but they're very flowy. They're very they speak to me in their own language. So um, I will tune into each card that I have for each sign, and I will extract whatever information comes through um, to me. Um, some the cards have an, um, a word on the bottom, so there is a certain word that's associated with each card. Um, I am not I'm not going to go by the description of what the author says it is. I'm going mostly by what I feel intuitively the card is trying to tell me. So I'm trying on these cards and where the energies are. I'm, I'm learning how to work with the energy of the card. So that, that's first and foremost. And I wanted to thank um, Mindy, if you're watching. Thank you so much for gifting those cards to me. Um, they're, they're very precious. Thank you. Um, what else do I want to say to you? Um, for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, I'm not a tarot reader. I'm a medium. I use my mediumship abilities to uh, create pockets of awareness let's put it that way and which means some of these messages may make sense to you and some of the messages may not make sense to you if they don't make sense to you right away chances are they will make sense to you down the road um, as with everything that I do my intention is to give you guidance to help you understand things from a different perspective and perhaps to elicit a new thought a new paradigm shift a new way of looking at things all for the purpose of helping you become much more empowered individual which means I will not be focusing uh, a lot on the future because the way I work uh, where you are right now is a pretty good predictor of your future so my uh, fascination is with trying to help you understand what makes you tick so that you can then create more consciously uh, that doesn't mean that future components will come through won't come through because for those of you who know me they do come through quite often but i always uh want to focus on giving you information that 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 ultimately allows you uh, allows you to grow and be much much more empowered um the messages are not bound in a month of May, obviously, because energy is very fluid. It doesn't have an end date. So um, it, in almost every message, I say something along the lines that whatever is coming up in May may also translate transpire over the next two to three months. So it seems like I'm being given a timeline of about two to three months with these messages. And um, so if it doesn't make sense to you in May, try maybe in June or July and see how it um, how it connects with you. Of course, for private sessions, if you would like to have a session with me uh, to help you figure out where you're at and where you're going, that information is down below. Of course, um, uh, this will not make sense to everybody because there's thousands of people watching this. Um, however, if it gives you something to think about, if you begin, if you pause and you go, hmm, I never thought about it that way, then I, then I have done my job because my aim is to help you think. And is there anything else that I want to share with you? Yes. Okay. So I don't know about you guys, but this entire month of April for me felt like I've been dragging my feet. The energy is just so tiring. And what I mean by that is I have been feeling very drained, energetically very drained. There is nothing that I have been doing that's extra or over and above than what I'm used to. But I have just been dragging my feet. It's like I have to pull my hair, pull myself by my hair to to get to to do the things that I need to do. With that, there is this tremendous level of um, of pushback. It's almost like um, it's not that I'm stop. It's not that I feel like I'm stalling, but I it, I feel like I'm resisting. Thank you. So the level of resistance in the month of April for me was through the roof, and I'm still recording this in April. Therefore, if you have been experiencing something like that, know that you're not alone. Uh, my feeling is, at least with me, that, um, and I think I might have mentioned this before, I feel like I'm about to pop. 
whatever the pop is, uh, there is an there's a oomph or puff effect that's waiting to happen. And it feels like the pressure is building up for the puff to happen. So that what what I experience is also an indication what many of you experience. So if you have been dragging your feet for quite some time, um, I don't think it's going to be too long now before it picks up again. Uh, and I'm seeing mid-May going forward, if, if you have been feeling tired, uh, you might uh, start feeling a little bit more clear, a little bit more um, my more oomph. You may have a little bit of uh, pep in your step. And um, I think that's all I want to give to you. Um, so, yeah, the stamp is on the bottom for when the actual uh, sign starts. And uh, with that said, thank you so much for sharing, for liking, for subscribing. I always say I am forever grateful to you because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. And what I do is I absolutely love. So thank you for that. Um, give me a thumbs up if that's what you like. Subscribe if you like what you see and you're new. Um, and I hope that you continue to enjoy um, um, hearing what messages want to come through to you. Uh, without further ado, let's move on to each sign uh, and I will see you in a moment. Hello beautiful Libras, these are going to be your messages for the month of May 2019. When I was shuffling cards, connecting with your energy, I clearly heard the words take off the mask. So I feel like in the month of May, or at least uh, around the month of May, or, or the next few months, it is... Um, it is important for you to learn how to truly be yourself. What does that mean? We all wear masks every single day. From the time we leave home, we present ourselves in a certain in a certain way, uh, uh, whether it's at work or it's um, you know in, in a meeting or in a relationship. So we all wear masks. That's just kind of how it, it goes. There's nothing really wrong with that. However. When our mask is too thick, I'm saying we because I'm now becoming you. When our masks become too thick, then people can't really get to know us. And um, when that happens, it makes it difficult to make any long lasting uh, fruitful relationships. Because if someone can, if we if we don't allow ourselves to be known for who we are and we only project a certain um, way um, to the world, then we're, our relationships are not going to be fulfilling. Why? Because they're not going to be based on the true you. They're going to be based on who you are trying to be. So if you are someone who constantly tries to impress other people, chances are you need to look at yourself and ask yourself, wh why is that so important to me? Um, for obvious reason, I think another sign just got that as well. It's good to be recognized by other people. That goes without saying. That will never go away, nor should it ever go away. However, when we depend on other people's words, um, in, when we depend on that for our identity, that, that then that's when it becomes a problem. But anyway, uh, taking the mask off is a very important phrase for the next few months, May, June, July. So it's going to mean different things for different people. If you are someone who is constantly... Uh, needing to appear a certain way because you feel that if you don't, you're going to get hurt, then um, then you're not you're not you're not truly being yourself. You're you're being afraid to be yourself, which means you're not truly being yourself. So, it's a good it's a good time to look at some of those things. I'll see how this um, evolves as I go through the cards. The other word that comes up here is the word responsibility. Uh, you are responsible for no one other than you. Now, I already hear people saying, that's not true. I have kids. Yes, of course. Absolutely. We all have responsibilities. We all have people to take care of. We all have things that we need to address that we need to take care of. But at the end of the day, if all these things are leading us away from us taking care of ourselves or being responsible for ourselves then um, that's when things can become a little bit problematic. So um, independence is another word that comes up um, and another sign just got that. So check with some of the other signs and see if that was mentioned as well, because if it is, then you're getting it in both um, in both signs. So that's a clear indication that something is, there's a message there for you. 
Okay, let me go through some of the cards that I have. First and foremost, um, when I asked for a focus point in the month of May, the card of seduction came up, which was kind of interesting. Uh, not what I expected, but I never, I should never expect really anything because my expectations um, create boundaries and um, sometimes it's not great. So what could this mean for you in the month of May? The phrase that comes up is don't be seduced by empty promises. If people have been promising you the moon and back and nothing is happening, chances are what they are promising you, they're not going to deliver. So you are being asked in the next little while to be, I want to say cautious, but I'll, as I'm saying that word, I'm being mindful that, you know, if we're overly cautious, then we're expecting things to go wrong. So there's, there's a, there's, there's, there's someone in the middle between, be, between expecting something wrong or being too naive. There's somewhere in the middle and that's the best place to be. And that middle will be different for everybody else. But chances are that over the next several months, you will either be met with some proposition. Somebody's going to propose something to you and they're going to, uh, they're going to say that they're going to deliver you to you, you know, all these things. Uh, you are being asked to be mindful of uh, number one when it comes where it comes from the direction it comes from I don't even know what that means what do you mean what direction um, in other words if a person is trying to impress you and that's why they're saying all these things or it is their true nature um, which which if that's the case that's fantastic but Interesting message. Don't be seduced by empty promises. This could be in jobs. I feel that a lot and could also be in relationship, obviously. So that's that's one part of the message. Um, what's the other message that I want to say that I want to give here? For some of you, I feel like you are afraid of coming out of the closet whatever that means to you. This could be coming out of a closet because um, you consider yourself gay or lesbian, whatever the word is, or some other um, way of how you identify yourself. You might be afraid of coming out. Um, always remember that as long as you respect yourself, others will respect you. So I don't know how this is coming from the word, from the message, of the, from the card of seduction, but this is for those of you who have been hiding, who have been hiding a lot, whether it's behind closet or behind a mask. You are being asked to look at yourself and recognize the wonderment that you are and accept yourself as you are without the need to prove anything to anybody. And that's a message not just for Libra. It's a message for everybody as far as I'm concerned. But it is coming up for you guys in the month of May. So just pay attention to that what is it that you're leaving behind now this is what i like to see because the hangman comes up whenever i see hangman it also it always puts me in a position of not knowing where i stand not feeling uh grounded in anything in particular and i feel like many of you who have been struggling with this feeling like you are uh, like you're not sure where you stand or the ground underneath you is not very firm or whatever other ways you want to kind of explain it. I feel majority of you are leaving this part of your life behind. In other words, you are becoming much more solid in your foundation. Now, this could be um, because you've been in transitions and you, for quite some time, you were not quite sure where you were going. But as you were going through this transition, it allows you it allowed you to see things from a different perspective. And hence, um, you're able to move on uh, quicker and in a better direction. So that's that I like seeing this card um, in a position of what it is that's being that's being let go of. Uh, stuck is another word that comes up for those of you who have been stuck either in a career in a job in a relationship in a um in a i don't know institution a group of people if you have felt stuck i feel you that will feeling will begin to lift off because at the end of the day 
nobody holds us into anything, at least not majority of us. We hold ourselves back. So when we feel stuck, it's because we feel something inside of us feels stuck. And the moment we begin to look at what that is, is when we begin to move forward. So you are moving forward and you're moving on from something that had you stuck for a while. You might have been stuck in your mind about something that you didn't know how to deal with and you're moving that behind. The King of Cups in reverse came up, so I asked for um, clarification, and then I got uh, oops, oops, a Knight of Swords in reverse. So the King of Cups um, symbolizes to me someone who is emotionally not very much in control. The Knight of Swords to me symbolizes um, mental energy used in a way that perhaps, you know, is not in the greatest. I feel an anxiety is one of the messages that I that comes through or an anxiety, feeling of an anxiety that comes with this card. Um, putting effort and attention into thoughts that ultimately uh, don't serve you. That's what I see with this energy. And if that is the case, emotionally, you may have felt like the King of Cups in reverse, which is not very stable. So the idea here is to turn this around. But I feel the reason why this guy comes up is because you are you are coming from a place of stuckness and um, coupled with these two cards tells me that you are you are moving from and from a you are moving from what are you moving from? You're moving from an unstable way of being emotionally and mentally into something that's much more solid and grounded. The Page of Cups is what comes up in uh, a future position. And I asked for clarification and temperance in reverse came up. So the way I see here, the way I see this is that uh, many of you are moving towards a brand new beginning, a brand new future. And I feel that this is going to be for many of you in terms of a career move, a job move. Um, that is what I see for most of you. For some of you, this is health related. So that's interesting. Now, why is this showing up in reverse? Temperance in reverse to me symbolizes emotions out of whack. Out of whack. That's how I want to say it. Kind of similar to this guy, the King of Cups in reverse. Uh, why is it coming up in the future? I feel that you may still temporarily feel like you are a little bit all over the place, emotionally speaking. Temperance is all about, well, temperance. It's about equilibrium. It's about balance. It's about emotional balance. Um, in this position, it's lack of it. So I feel that, and I feel it's because the, the page of cups to me symbolizes a brand new beginning, a brand new emotional beginning. Um, so I feel like many of you are coming from some turbulent times and you are moving on to something that's much calmer, but you may still feel, particularly you might have felt this in April, and I feel for some of you, you'll feel this in May. You may feel a little bit emotionally out of balance, but that's okay because remember, you are um, you are you are moving into um, a new space, into a new place, into a new into a new ch um, choice. No, into a new into a new what? Into a new situation. Um, two cards that I want to talk about, which is Jaguar and many paths. I absolutely love the Jaguar when she comes up. I see her as a she. The Jaguar is a master of shadow. So the Jaguar has a very keen eye for seeing through things that are out of sight. I feel like in the month of May, you are being encouraged to look at your shadows, to look at the things that you are afraid of, to look at the things that scare you, to look at the things you hide from in order to, um, to number, number one, understand yourself first and foremost, but also by understanding yourself, 
you can become much more clear in terms of where you might want to go um, going moving forward if particularly if you're leaving one situation and you're moving into a set of new circumstances the many paths to me symbolizes that for many of you the future not only is bright but it also is opulent in different opportunities so i feel the stuckness like i said is for many of you related to work or career that's going to be for majority of you for others it's relationships and i feel the message here is there's many there's many paths to follow there's many paths to choose from but in order for you to be clear which path is the right for you you might have to do some groundwork so to speak which is looking at um, some things that scare you uh, why would that be important that's a great question well for one let's say let's say you're meant to be a public speaker okay so that's going to be for some of you let's say you're meant to be a public speaker but meant right your path is about you're meant to lead people you're meant to be a leader and as a matter of fact you have the leader quality with you so you have that uh, so let's say you're meant to be a leader in this lifetime but you have shied away from being a leader because you have not felt very confident you have felt lack of self-worth lack of sense value you have felt um you know that you lack certain things if that is the case those things those shadows would absolutely um you know prevent you from you putting yourself out there and being visible as a leader so there are many paths that you can follow that you can choose from but in order for you to find out which the right path is for you or what the right path is for you it is about conquering your fears i love when the jaguar comes up it is she's ferocious she's one of my spirit guides spirit animals she's ferocious but she is very nurturing and um i want to say this to you do not be afraid of your dark shadows we all have them every single human being has them because it is the shadow and the light that's what we need in order to have our experiences so it's important for you to address some of those shadows in the next few months particularly in the month of may okay now october comes up for some reason so for some of you um whatever is going on right now it's leading you to a brand new beginning perhaps one of those paths and that will have uh, that will transpire in october so for some of you you might be relocating let's say and you you might be moving in october for some of you um this will make more sense to you in October. I don't, although I don't think that's the case here. It, it, it feels like a brand new start and it feels like it's one of these paths. But the reason why it's in October is because you still have to do some shadow work. You have to look at some things that may not be overly convenient to look at because they don't feel good, but things that are absolutely necessary in order to master your skills. So as I've mentioned, follow the leader is a message that says number one you are so for many of you you are a leader in the making you are moving on to more of a leadership position whether it is being a leader of your own life or being a leader in a company or being a leader in a group you get the picture um the 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 clock here on the tree so tree is wisdom the clock symbolizes divine timing for many of you you have enough experience behind your belt in order to make it a go whatever the path will be for you but chances are it is uh there's a leadership quality that comes with it so you might um you might be graduating and you might be moving up in the ranks in your company you might be becoming uh much more vocal about who you are and that allows you to to gain more confidence as an, and as a result of being more confident you become much more sure of yourself and then you feel like the you're making like life is life is working for you like you're making life happen you have control over your life even though you don't really have any control we feel like we're in control so that's what the message to me symbolizes for some of you 
it is a good idea that you follow a leader, some sort of a leader. If you know someone or if you believe in someone and you trust what they have to say, then follow their guidance or follow their instructions. So this is not going to be for a lot of you, but it's going to be for some of you. Um, for some of you, the idea of counseling comes up. So you might be talking to some, perhaps you're in a transition, in a transition in a career. Perhaps you will be talking to someone who will help and guide you in the right path. And as a result of that guidance, you're going to come up through some bumps on the road because you're going to discover some things you didn't know about yourself that will ultimately bring you into um, uh, much more fulfillment um, having dealt with them. So that's what I get with the leader card. Um, what else do I want to say? The Dragon's Liar is an interesting message. So I actually don't know what it says on the book. So I'm going to feel into it. And protection is what I feel here. I feel many of you have chosen to be invisible for whatever reason in your past. Why would we choose to be invisible? Well, the, 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 the most obvious component comes is, comes is, is uh, lack of self-worth. When we feel lack of self-worth within ourselves, we usually keep ourselves back from being seen because you would, we do not want people to recognize that we're lacking something, right? However, the lack mentality is just that. It is a mental, uh, mental um, picture we hold of ourselves and um, mind can change, so can the picture of yourself. So for those of you particularly who have been hiding from being your own leader, leader in your own home, leader in your own life, leader in a company, leader in, li yeah, in life. Um, this is a time for you to come out of hiding. And I think there was another message at the beginning about um, coming out of hiding. So that's going to be for quite a few of you. Some of you, this is interesting, religion is coming to mind. Why is religion coming to mind? Some of you are choosing to no longer hide behind your religious beliefs. And I'm not quite sure that what that even means. What does it mean to hide behind religious beliefs? Okay, for example, let's say uh, the, the example that's being given to me is um, someone who's hiding behind their religion beliefs may negate taking responsibility for their life because religion tells them this, therefore they're not going to take responsibility for their own happiness. That's the example that's being given to me. I hope it makes sense. I could probably translate it in various different ways, but the message is quite clear. For some of you, you are choosing to no longer hide behind your religion or behind your beliefs. Uh, religion is the word that came up. And to me, when I say it, in this way, it has a very constraining component to it. So you are moving away from um, religious restrictions, religious beliefs, religious dogma. You're moving away from that. And that's fantastic. Now, it doesn't surprise me that that's the case because the message of new consciousness come through. And whenever I see this message, it always talks about shifting our awareness, well, shifting our consciousness. And that's not an easy thing because when we shift our consciousness, the very idea of who we are begins to change. And that's the identity, that's the ego. So expect over the next few months or so to undergo what I would call uh, like an ego death component, an ego death. Ego death, can I say it that way? Obviously, this is not a death, physical death, but this is Consider this like a, a snake shedding its skin. It's the death and rebirth. And by moving through that, which is never a comfortable process, never, never a comfortable process, uh, but by moving through that, we not only shed our old skin, but we begin the process of a renewal. And um, renewal is what we want. We do not want to uh, keep our old skin because it's no longer useful. So that's what I get with this message. The next message I have for you is seeing the one. This is about 
moving away from the mentality of isolation and uh, separation into oneness. Now, what's interesting here is the idea around religion. Um, someone has made this, has said this to me before, and, and, and I took it to heart because I have a funny thing with religion. Religion and I don't mix. I have no problem with religions. I respect all religions, but I don't fit myself in the box. It must be a past life thing. But someone said to me, it's not religion that's the problem. It's the people who, you know, practice uh, the religion. So why was I saying this? Yeah, because religion comes up. So for some of you, um, okay, here we're, here's what I was going with this. Uh, sometimes religion, religious beliefs can separate, like certain religion belief that they're believe that they're the best and any other religion is not as good. That's unfortunately a, a methodology of of a separation. It's not a methodology of oneness or it's not a consciousness of oneness. So perhaps some of you are leaving certain, again, religious dogma behind and that will allow you to move from the segregation to more of a unity consciousness. And that's beautiful. That is fantastic. Um, is there anything else that I want to say to you? If you have been alone for quite some time, um, particularly for, for those of you who have been hiding, it is not only a good idea for you to be more out of there, but I also feel like over the next few months, as you transition from this consciousness of separation to consciousness of oneness, I feel that you will begin to attract new people into your life. This will be uh, in terms of lovers, in terms of work, in terms of companionships, in terms of friends. Um, as you shed your own skin, the old way of doing things, which includes certain things and certain people will go by the wayside, but in, um, but in, uh, in, in return, you will attract to yourself something that is much more aligned with who you are becoming. So it feels to me like the message is basically saying, uh, go out, put yourself out there, allow yourself to be seen, take your mask off, be yourself, be okay with who you are, own who you are, embody who you are, be a good person, trust yourself, trust your intuition, be kind to yourself first and foremost. And when you're kind to yourself, you're likely to be kind to, to another or to an animal. Uh, and allow that to be shown to the world because um, if you've been hiding, the world has been missing. And uh, why, why would you not want to take the opportunity uh, of being out there and be admired and be seen. So if you've been protecting yourself for quite some time, uh, you're being encouraged like like a mother hen, I'm encouraging you to, to put yourself out there, whether it's through work, whether it's through expression, how you express your individuality, whether it's through a relationship, whether, whatever it is for you, uh, there's definitely a feeling of something new forming in the background. The number 27 comes up. So for some of you, number 27 is important. Uh, two is choices and decisions to me always. It does also represents February. Seven to me is a very, uh, it's, a, it's a very transitional number to me. It represents heightened awareness and heightened psychic activity, but also um, revelations. So it, it feels like over the next few weeks or few months, there will be no shortage of those. Um, but that's usually what happens when we are transitioning from one thing to another. Uh, oftentimes we get new revelations, uh, re re revelations, yes, that um, allow us to start um, to have a brand new beginning. I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm kind of sort of a little bit all over the place, but this is the energies that I'm feeling throughout the entire month, like I've mentioned. So um, it's coming out here too. Perhaps this is also how you feel as well. But with that said, I want to um, don't hold on to something that you know is dead. If you are holding holding on for safety and security to something that is dead, 
all you're doing is you are perpetuating, um, you know, being unhappy. Because if you know something is dead and you can't revive it, it's time to move on. And that could be, you know, again, relationships, jobs, certain way of being, certain way of believing, whatever it is. If it's dead, if it no longer serves you, or if it if there is nothing there for you to gain from it, then it's time to move on. Um, and the number nine is being shown to me, which is about letting go. So we're all letting go through the process of, um, you know, shifting our consciousness. You're you're no different. Where every single sign is going through that, particularly over the last few months. And I've been hearing that April was notorious, or still is. I'm recording this in April for feeling all over the place. So if you have been feeling that, then uh, I hear you. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if this makes sense to you. If it doesn't make sense to you at the beginning of, of May, perhaps listen to it at the end of May or maybe even in June and July. I do wish you best of luck in the month of May. Please take care of yourself. Don't hide yourself. Take off the mask. Be true to you and then allow the world to love you and to see you. And with that said, of course, if you would like a private session with me, that information is down below. I wish you best of luck. Take care of yourself. Um... Okay, stay hydrated. That's important. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.